Y'all all right? Oh, great. Can I just find out who's in really quick? Can all the men give me a cheer? <laughs> Hi, boys. Hello. <laughs> Just heard a few bottoms go. Um, <laughs> ladies, can you give me a cheer? <laughs> Thank fuck you bitches are here. I tend to need you when I get into it. Um, any gays? Oh, I mean, I don't know if that's a sympathy gay, but I'll fucking take it. <laughs> And that's such a nice reaction because doing some um, shows in Glasgow a couple of months ago and I went out there and I was like, where are my gays? And this voice at the back of the room just went, dead! <laughs> so that was nice. And honestly, I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. And I'm trying to find true love at the minute because I've been single for ages. Thank you. It's not the fucking Lion King, but thank you. <laughs> No, because I've been single for six years, which are no surprising because I'm only 17 like you. And... <laughs> and I don't know why it's not happening for me, right? Because I have had a boyfriend before and his name was Matt. And we were together for three years between the ages 16 and 19. And we had to end up breaking up because Matt ended up going into the Navy. And then he came out straight, which is the wrong way around. And... <laughs> And it's hard, it's particularly hard in the gay community because the gays have turned very superficial now and don't turn all LGBTQIA123 Caitlyn Jenner and build a fucking flow. But, no, they have because the gays now, they all just want a fuck thought. They want a fuck thought. They want the perfect tan, the perfect six pack, the big dick. And I'm just not shallow in that way. I'd rather know what someone earns. Uh, <laughs> Believe it or not, it's not my dream to be here on a Monday night. I'm sorry, it's just fucking not. Right. It isn't, I couldn't give a whop. And... <laughs> Do we have single people in? Thank you, just the fucking women. Like, all the men gets terrified. Where are the straight men? <laughs> just I just want you to know, I think your lifestyle choices are disgusting, unnatural, and God hates you. Uh, <laughs> Politics, dumb. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm at that stage now, because obviously it's 2018, I'm trying to find love, so I've had to resort to doing the online dating, but I'm trying to find true love, so I'm trying to use the proper websites like Grindr. And... <laughs> so you know it. Uh, it's so fucking difficult. It's so difficult, because the way we speak to each other online, like, no one's speaking to each other that way in real life. Like, no one's going to come up to me at the bar afterwards and be like, hey, how's you, aubergine? Uh, <laughs> The young people love that because they know aubergine means dick and the old people are like, oh my God, aubergine, he's going to make someone a vegetarian lasagna. What a nice boy. What a sweetheart. What a sweetheart. Why is he alone? And... <laughs> right, and I've been doing, please tell me if you've ever done this one, plenty of fish, poff. Oh, in it, right, it's the skankiest of all the dating websites. It is, and the reason it's so skanky is because there's no restrictions on there, so any lunatic can message you, um, and I will. And... <laughs> He's really fit, he can't look at me anymore. Uh, <laughs> it? Hello. Uh, and this guy from Poffy actually sent me this message, being like, hey, how's you? And I was fine, I wasn't really that bothered, so I didn't message him back. Four days later, the same guy messages me, and he's like, hey, how's you? Not heard back from you, hon. Worried you've been killed. Right. <laughs> no. So I gave him my number, and... <laughs> and it, it turns out he's really beginning to sex thing. Do you know the sex... You know when a man sends you pictures of red penis, being like, love you? <laughs> Everyone wants to fucking know now. <laughs> because you're fit, that's why I'm looking at you. <laughs> It's the white straight man's time to be objectified, girl. Uh, <laughs> you're real. What's your name? Scott. Scott, it's really nice to meet you. Where do you live? Oh, do you have a postcode? <laughs> I'm gonna need it for the Uber driver. <laughs> Scott's arsehole is literally crying. It's <laughs> Please don't let it get me. <laughs> I'm enjoying you, Scotland. And... <laughs> but 
Scott, I'm like you. I'm not really big into sexting either. I feel like it's like sending someone a picture of a bunch of flowers. Like, I want to be able to hold it and smell it for myself, thank you. <laughs> I love how wasted you are. Um, <laughs> I have never made a woman make that noise, but I want to do it again. I want to do it again. I like you, bitch. Um, right. And anyway, this guy from Plenty of Fish, he actually sent me a picture of his penis and it just said, thinking of you. And it was flaccid. Um, I honestly can't catch a break. I can't, because I, all I want from life is a relationship like my parents, because they've been together forever because they're brother and sister. Um, <laughs> Obviously, that's not true. I'm fucking fit. Like, I'm fucking fit. That is not true. This was not incest, thank you. Um, but I think another thing is, I think one of the reasons I'm single is like, I'm not very good at sex. I'm really bad at it. Like, give me a cheer if you enjoy sex. Yeah. And give me a cheer. Give me a cheer if you feel sexy during sex. Less people, always fucking less people. Because I'm not one of those people who naturally feel sexy during sex. Like, with me, it's like a sea lion's been washed ashore. Do you know? It is like, oh, like I'm trying to bring a boat in. And <laughs> what is wrong with me? I have parents. I have fucking parents. So I do, I get, <laughs> I get very inquisitive about the sexy time. And I was on a hen party last year and I was speaking to my friend Louise and I got fascinated because obviously I've never had like straight sex. And I was like, what's it like for a man to go down on a woman? Do you know face to poussoir? And. <laughs> And she was like, Stephen, sometimes it's amazing. It's the most incredible sensation you'll ever go through. And other times it's like a pig searching for truffles. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? After she said that, I did think, do you know what? If you threw a Ferrero Rush out there, I'd go in afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just tell you this before I fuck off. Right, my dad is actually really mad that I do this for a living and he's really mad that I tell dick jokes that you're much smarter than that. And I'm like, you did not raise that, no. And he's pissed off because I gave up a flourishing career. I was working at Sainsbury's for six years. Um, and I was the best checkout chick you'd ever seen. The queues to my checkout were longer than the queues to get in here tonight. And it's because the old biddies love me and I'd, I'd get regulars, I'd have Doreen, she'd come in every Wednesday at 10 a.m. like clockwork and we just have the best banter. She'd be like, oh, Stephen, who have you been shagging this weekend on Canal Street? <laughs> And I'd be like, Doreen, <laughs> your son. Um... <laughs> you guys have been really nice. I've been Stephen Bailey. Get home safe. See you soon. Thank you.